Hi everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano, welcome back. Today we are going to do another planner painting. I'll see you after the intro. Beautiful day today, and my daughter and I decided to go for a picnic. And uh, obviously, I had to paint something. We are here, Crooked Creek, that's how they call. It's very nice today. So she's playing around. I'm doing this quick planner painting. As you say, I start with the sky. There are a lot of clouds, so I kinda paint the pocket they are on the sky. And now I'm painting some clouds. I start with the shadow of the cloud. And now I'm putting the highlights. When I do planner painting, I really don't think much when I'm painting. I maybe have a plan before I look my subject study maybe for 10 20 minutes but soon when i start painting i really just try to feel and put in the canvas the color and what helped me is the sketch i do at the beginning very quick sketch now if you guys see my previous video i always start with the thing that are most far away and come back in my way to the foreground. You see that I'm mixing some color on the right side and I try to keep my saturation down and my color I'm putting a couple trees on the left. I found out that it's more easy if you have like object like tree or houses paint them because if i would have painted all the mass of trees on the left when you put your darks like the tree they're gonna mix with uh, green and you're gonna create mud now what i do always is try to fill my canvas with paint and after I will go back with some detail. Planner painting is, is amazing. I really like paint like this. I give myself always no more than an hour. As you say, I complete and fill all the canvas with color and now I start putting some details. And that's my daughter there in the black background and play with rocks. We have a very nice time here. So this is like uh, me start putting some details. I'm working now on this big tree. It's kind of the focus point of this little painting. I'm painting on a nine by 12 linen panel that I make myself. I will soon uh, do a video, I'll make my own panel. It's very cheap and they work amazing for me. I'll do some detail on these rocks. There are a lot of rocks. I'm coming my way. The detail part is my favorite because you can really see the painting the final product come alive. When you first start, I'll do my first coat. As you see before, it wasn't looking so good, but the, the details always make the painting come to life. Now, at this stage of the painting, I'm just putting all the details I'm looking at my subject, grab the painting, and as you see, my palette at this point is a mess, but it's a good thing. For example, when I mix something lighter, still 
in my brush there's some color of the other mixing and that's uh, how you get your color harmony now I'm getting some uh, highlights on the water And I start putting some grass here in the foreground and uh, you can see the saturation. Again, more saturation on the greens. That's uh, why I'm trying to be careful, especially when I paint the stuff very far away to keep my saturation down. Uh, you can see now my color of the very far away trees. And here I start painting some highlights on these rocks in this creek. I come back again on my clouds and make uh, put some highlights and blend it together. Now what really does help is have good brushes. And all the brushes that I use, they are Rosemary and Co. Oil brushes. There are so many kind and different brushes. That's the only one that I use. They are no expensive. And they're very good quality. I will put a link on the description if you guys are interested. You can click on that. If you guys decide to buy some brushes, it would help me out. If you click the link. Now I'm here putting some uh, details on the tree, some branches, and now some foliage. Very happy how this painting end up. I love plain air. Just as, as I say, go in the nature and just paint. It's like for some people do meditation or yoga. That's my meditation. I feel so good after a painting. And you just gotta go there and try, and try and try. More painting you do, and better you get. I remember my first plain, plain air. It was like, oh my God, what is this? Because it's different from when you paint in your studio. And now, This is time for our picnic. My daughter was telling me, are we done, are we done, are we done? Yes, finally I'm done. This is the painting. Amazing time today. All right, guys, we are done for today. Thank you for watching. It was a beautiful experience. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. I will see you soon. Ciao.